50 fin whales and for the first time the grizzly quota will include humpbacks. The inclusion of this magnificent creature has angered many Australians and reignited an international furor. But the Japanese argue they must kill to get the genetic makeup of the mammal. Now scientists in Australia say they've got the evidence to shoot that claim down. They've developed a technique that they say delivers all the answers without bloodshed. Environment reporter Sarah Clark has this report. Getting this close to a gigantic marine mammal is an exhilarating experience. Every year, thousands of Australians witness this extraordinary spectacle firsthand. Here in Queensland's Harvey Bay, the humpback has become comfortable with the growing number of onlookers. As they migrate south, the bay becomes a playground where the mothers approach the boats with their calves and interact with the whale watchers. These humpbacks now face the threat of harpoons for the first time in more than 30 years, when Japan launches its controversial annual scientific hunt. We were really shocked to learn that the Japanese were planning to start targeting humpback whales because it makes no scientific sense. Japanese fishery authorities argue that killing whales is the only way to get accurate scientific data including the whale's sex, its ability to reproduce, and most importantly, its age. Opponents argue Japan's so-called scientific whaling is a cover for selling and eating whale meat, and killing for science is a sham. Woo! Beautiful! Australian scientists believe they've developed a humane alternative. They're working on a reliable method of getting the scientific data they need without killing the whale. In the lab, the chief yeah, scientist, absolutely. Peter Harrison, That's and his researchers are unlocking the clues to the whale's age, testing yeah, a large yeah, number of skin yeah, samples. Yeah. They've taken the DNA test one step further, examining the tips of the chromosomes where they can distinguish between calves and the adults. The skin samples can give you the unique genetic identity of the whales. They can tell you the relationships to the other whales, who's the father, who's the mother, etc. They can tell you the sex of the whales. And when our research is complete, we'll also be able to add a, an age factor to that information. Prior to the last period of commercial whaling, well, they numbered probably in the order of 40,000. They were reduced to about 100 to 150 individuals, so they were almost made extinct. It's taken them 40 years to, to claw their way back to, to recovery. Um, and it'll probably take another 60 years for them to get back to anywhere the numbers that they were prior to whaling. Over the coming weeks, Japan's whaling fleet will again set sail for the Southern Ocean. This year, the catch will include 50 humpbacks. It's not enough to get samples of minke whale. We need uh, the uh, biological information on uh, other whale species, such as humpback whale and fin whale. The whalers are going to concentrate on the biggest whales, and the biggest whales in the humpback species are the mature reproducing females. So you've got, if you like, a, a double effect on, on the population. Also at stake is a whale watching industry worth at least $350 million a year in Australia. These scientists believe the final results of their groundbreaking research can't come soon enough. It will literally destroy the last uh, vestige excuse that the Japanese use for their so-called scientific research program. What we're saying is you don't need to kill whales in order to age them. Whaling is outdated, it's outmoded, it's for products that nobody needs, and it's incredibly inhumane and cruel. Oh. <sighs>